the Lord. We greet the church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite the brethren to stand up. We're going to read the word of the Lord that is located in Acts of the Apostles. Acts 3. Verse number 6. I'm going to read only verse number 6. Amen, my brethren. Have ever, has everybody found the word of the Lord says in Acts 3 6? Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth, rise up and walk. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we exalt your name. We praise you because of your word that was read. We plead that you apply to our hearts, the hearts that we, that we need. We praise, plead to you for this blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. My brother, the text that we read. Has uh, as a, uh, he's has at the top here as uh, the healing of a lame man, but it also tells the text that we read. Peter and John that were walking together, they're going up together towards the temple to pray. And they were going to seek the face of the Lord there. They were there going to the house of the Lord to pray, to seek the face of the Lord, to seek God. And there at the door of the temple, there was a lame man, a crippled man. And the people, they placed that man there in order to ask for alms. And it, this process happened every day, every day. His friends would put him there to, uh, in order for him to ask for alms, ask for money. It, it, is a, it was a common practice. He could not work. He had no physical means to work. So then he needed a way to sustain himself. So then they placed him at the door of the temple in order to ask for alms. And then Peter and John on the... So then Peter on the way to the temple asking alms for sustenance of his life. And the word says that Peter and John, they say to this man, look to us. He said, look to us. And that man looked to Peter and John, expecting them to give him something of worth, something that would sustain his physical life, money or something, something of uh, some worth. But the word says that this is this was the word of Peter. Uh, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. My brethren, a man in need, when a man has needs, when a man needs a blessing, like this man that needed a miracle in his life, Many times, man who has needs is taken by many. When there is a need in heart, a man cannot find an answer. Any person that come to him and, and tell him, like, they say anything, he will say, well, the, the blessing is here. Or maybe the blessing is there. No, come to this place and where you're going to resolve your problem. And this man was carried around because there was a need in his heart. There is... I need it in his soul. So then if a person comes and invite him to go to that place because there is a powerful prayer in that place or maybe go to another place where there is a holy water that will make you well. And then man goes. Man goes seeking to, to, the, to satisfy the need of his soul. He doesn't measure any effort. And he goes to any any place that where he would he thinks he can find a solution to his problem, 
Because there is a necessity in the heart of man. There is an emptiness in man's heart. But this emptiness can only be filled by the Lord Jesus. This emptiness that is in the heart of man, in the life of man, only the Lord can fill. And this man was brought every day to the door of the temple. Every day he was there. The word does not describe how long. Every day, we don't know how long he was there. However, he was pleased to the Lord to change his life, the direction of his history. How long it took, I don't know. But there is a, a, a right day for God to change your life. There is a date schedule for your life to be changed. Maybe today is the date in which your life will be changed. Maybe you came to the house of the Lord filled with necessities, with problems. You have gone already to so many places. So many people left you at the door of the temple asking for alms. Some Maybe somebody told you, go to the place, ask someone for a solution to your problem. But, but now you are in the presence of Lord Jesus, the one who can resolve your problem. So then Peter and John, they were in fellowship. And this week we have in the service of, of Tuesday a word about fellowship, being together, breaking of the bread. In Peter and John, they were in fellowship. And when the church is in fellowship, all receive a blessing. The whole church receives a blessing. In Peter and John, they were in fellowship. They were going to the temple to seek the Lord. And when the church is in fellowship, the whole church is blessed. So then if you enter here to this church with a need, receive the blessing for the part of the Lord because there is fellowship in this place. The blessing of the Lord is in this place. God wants to bless you and to change the course of your life. God wants to change your history. He changed the history of that man. And the Lord has shown tonight in a spiritual vision that there was a man that entered here with a need. I'm not going to read it completely. A man was like a a puppet, he was being uh, moved, but, but the strings that moved his, his body was didn't come from the top, it came from the bottom. He was moved, he was manipulated by the world, but the, today the Lord wants to change your life, your history. God wants to guide your life. You are not going to be guided by anyone else, but God wants to guide you. God wants to bring you to a, a place where you're going to receive a, receive a blessing. And the greatest blessing that we can receive, which is salvation in the Lord Jesus, and what awaits us is salvation. Everything will pass. All the problems and difficulties, they will pass. The tears are going to pass. But the Lord, what the Lord has for us is something excellent. It's eternity with the Lord, living with Christ in eternity. All the tears, all this crying, all the anguish, it all will pass. We're not, we're not going to be carried around like that layman man, but we are going to have only joy in that place in the presence of the Lord. Because that's what happened with that man. The word the Lord said that when he was taken by the right hand, he got up and soon his feet and knees got stronger and jumping, he was able to stand up and he entered, entered with them in the temple, praising and jumping and shouting and praising the name of the Lord. Everyone was able to see. And tonight, the Lord has brought you to this place. The Holy Spirit of the Lord has touched your heart tonight. And if He brought you to this place, He brought you here to change your history, to change your destination. Allow the Lord to bless you and God to guide your life and guide your heart because there is something amazing that the Lord wants to do in your life. And He has he has already changed our, our lives and our history. We were also at the door of the temple asking for alms. We wanted something. We didn't know what. But we knew that there was something missing in our lives. But when we meet Jesus, everything be was completed in our lives. Jesus changed our lives. He changed the history of each one of us. Amen. That's the word for your heart, for our hearts. Receive this blessing for the part of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God.
Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I invite the church to stand up. We're going to be praying to the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Lord God, we exalt your name. We praise you, Lord, because one day you changed our history. You changed the course of our lives. We were poor and needed. But one day we find a great blessing, a treasure for our lives, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. You gave so great salvation. We exalt you and praise the Lord because you have helped us to this point. We glorify for everything, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. If there is still a need of prayer, we're here ready to pray for your life. You just raise your hand and the deacons and ushers are going to be ready to pray for you. Thank you. 